Hey guys, Jason here on The Mentor Show. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a subscriber. Well, if you're tuning back in after you saw the installation of the Kurt Hitch on Maggie's uh, 2015 uh, Nissan Versa Note, um, I talked about a bike rack that we got her also. And here it is. It's in the box. We're going to unbox it now. This is a Kurt. Uh, the part number is 18085. Uh, it's a uh, the tray style uh, bike rack carrier. It's just for two bikes. It weighs 50 pounds. Uh, so we're gonna unbox it now, and hopefully it's not a huge install. And we'll get it on the car, and we'll look at all the different positions. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll take it on a uh, maiden journey. So uh, let's go. All right, guys. So it's a box in a box. So uh, again, this is model 18. 085 by Kurt and here is what it looks like it's like a tray style two bikes and these little arms there hold the bikes in place it's like uh, sides can be folded up for compact storage and it works for multiple hitch sizes one in, uh, inch and a quarter and two inches so Maggie's is an inch and a quarter but we can always just put on the truck and the forerunner also tilts away and it's like it's also lockable. That's pretty cool. So, so yeah. Let's go ahead and open it up and get into it. All right, guys. Definitely more cardboard <laughs> than pieces. <laughs> We're still unpacking. All right. Here we go guys, got it all laid out. This is everything that comes with it. So, now we're gonna start putting it together. And hopefully it should go pretty smooth. So here we go. All right guys, so it's day two. Uh, we got the bike rack all built and it's on the car. I had to stop. We had a bunch of thunder showers rolling in and uh, I had to close the garage door and it was just a big thing. So so today I'm just gonna kind of show you what we what it looks like. Now it's built. We're gonna put the bikes on it and we're gonna take it for a test run uh, down at Ken Cape Henlope in uh, State Park and do a few miles and just uh, make sure everything is good. So uh, let's take a look here. So here it is. It was, uh, I think it was a very simple install. Okay. Uh, one thing I did upgrade, uh, I knew this going ahead. Uh, I really like, I really like how the bike rack has its own lock for the bikes. That's pretty cool. Uh, so when you the bikes on here, once you move these down, you can lock these, which is which is great. Uh, the, uh, the fail point I saw was down at the hitch. Uh, so I went ahead. So I went ahead and I built and I uh, and I bought a new lock for it. So now it's keyed in, and because that's that's a fail point for me. Because if someone's, you know, they can just grab the whole rack. Uh, so now the whole thing is locked to the car. Bikes are locked to the rack, and we're good to go. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, load the bikes, and we'll uh, get it all down, and uh, we'll head out. All right, guys, so the bikes are on. Uh, Charlene's bike wouldn't fit too well uh, close to the vehicle, which hers is actually supposed to go on close to the vehicle because it's the heaviest, but we're gonna have to just let it slide today. The problem with her frame is that she's got that real low, low frame. I guess really in reality, you probably have to get one of those bars that goes across. Um, so we just switched them out and moved hers to the back. I think we'll be all right, but uh, we just had to do a little adjustment with the wheels. You know, you kind of had to move those um, closer in just so it fits in the crater really nice. So um, we're all loaded up. So let's go. Uh, let's go check it out. I got a GoPro in the back of the car, so you guys can kind of see the shake. Hopefully, there's not that much, but uh, probably a little bit of play in there.
try to get it off. Super easy, huh? All right, guys, so I'm gonna demonstrate on uh, how the rack can kind of go in kind of a storage uh, position. Uh, we don't really need it, but I'm just gonna show you since we're here. Pretty much top piece, I'm gonna take out, turn it this way. There we go. Storage. So that's pretty cool. So, so there we go. So if you were not using it for the day, um, you just kind of put it in its storage position. And I believe there's also one more storage position, which I'll show you, show you guys that one later uh, when we get home. So uh, all right, let's go for a ride. So we're down at Cape Penlopin State Park. Maggie's actually here for beach cleanup. So it actually worked out perfect bringing the bikes down, trying the rack. Uh, she's gonna be down here for a couple hours. So we're just gonna kind of cruise around Cape and uh, just enjoy the day. Beautiful day out today. I got a new Cannondale helmet, it looks pretty cool. But at the, I think the front straps are messed up. They don't look right, do they? They're like hanging off the sides. I had to adjust that. So if you look like an idiot, that's probably why. How we do it. Seven miles. All right, guys, we did seven miles. We we're just kind of putzing around here, uh, just waiting for Maggie. She's doing beach cleanup today. And Sherilyn pointed out we, we're, we're matching. Here, show them how we're matching. Look, Opposite. look, I got black, sh black shorts, black shirt, maroon, maroon pants. How cool is that? Put it right back in. Like that. Oh, this one. Just And there we go. That is super simple. 
I really, I'm really liking the uh, the cradle style racks. Those are really nice. The one I really want to get is from the company called One Up. Uh, they make some incredible bike racks. So check those that company out. Someday I'm going to get a One Up. So maybe later on. They're a little pricey. I think they start at like 600 bucks and go up to like $1,200. But super cool. Like those. That's like you buy it as a lifetime rack. Uh, it's all aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, really, really cool. All right, guys, so we're back home. Just got the bikes off. I uh, just wanted to show you the other storage uh, position that you can use. Because when we were at the Cape Penlo, when I kind of showed you how it kind of flips up, now I'll show you the other storage position here. Pretty much these pins come out. And you put the pin like that. You can do it on. So that's another way to store it if you wanted to leave it on. Uh, we'll, I'm probably gonna take it off. Uh, but yeah, all in all, uh, I think it's a really nice rack. Um, one thing I did look in the in the manual when you're using an inch and a quarter hitch with this bike rack, they said you should be using support straps. So. I'm gonna ask E Trailer about that. Um, I, I just, that. That wasn't brought up during the checkout process or any kind of warning from anybody. So I'm gonna look in more into that and see kind of, you know, what that strap, uh, how much it is, what it consists of, and kind of how it works. Um, one thing I think I'm gonna change. This center, the center piece here, that's that um, moves these pieces up and down to lock the bike in. I'm gonna, there's one bolt down there. I'm just gonna take the bolt out, and turn this thing, um, because Sherilyn's bike's heavier, and it should be closest to the vehicle. So I'm just gonna make that quick switch. Uh, I just can't see other way to do it. You can't really. These things go a certain way, and you can't rotate these little arms because they're like riveted in. So uh, it should be easy. Just get a wrench out, and I'll, I'll fix that, no problem. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool bike rack. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in one, check out E-Trailer. Um, they're always good people there. But I'm going to ask them definitely about that support strap. So, all right, guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a subscriber, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.